All right, we're going to take a look at a couple of freeze-dried items. Freeze-dried, of course, is a good alternative to MREs. Uh, it tends to be lighter in weight. Uh, you do have to add water, so there's uh, a lot of different things to, uh, a lot of different factors to weigh. But these were sent to me very generously by BKY Guy. BKY Guy has a channel. Uh, if you might want to go check it out, he's done a number of freeze-dried reviews there. I think it's mostly Mountain House, a couple of survival kind of things. There's a bunch of different stuff too, but um, if you want to see some more freeze-dried stuff, go check out uh, BKY Guy. And thank you very much, BKY Guy, for sending these. Today we're going to look at a couple of backpackers' pantry items. This one is risotto with chicken. It's Italian-style rice dish with chicken, vegetables, and Parmesan cheese. This makes uh, two 13-ounce servings out of a 7.1-ounce package. And we also have a dessert. We have Backpacker's Pantry Dark Chocolate Cheesecake. It sounds good. It serves two. It doesn't say what the serving sizes are, but the uh, size in here is 4.5 ounces. And of course, being as these are freeze-dried, they're going to have a very long shelf life, a lot longer than MREs. And Backpacker's Pantry puts the Best Buy date up at the top here. This one is Best Buy, February 13th, 2022. So that's still over five years away. I don't know when this was packed. But considering how long these last for, I'm going to guess it was probably packed a while before that. And the uh, dark chocolate cheesecake has a Best Buy of July 16th, 2021. It's giving you uh, quite a few years left on these things. So. Risotto with chicken this is the directions. It says uh, remove and discard enclosed oxygen absorber. Add two and a half cups or 600 mils of boiling water. Stir well, seal, and let sit for 13 minutes. And uh, different directions for um, different elevations. Here are the ingredients if you want to see those. And here are the nutrition facts if you want to see those. Keep in mind, uh, serving size is half of the package and is two servings per container. So. For this whole package, you want to double these nutrition facts. And is the dark chocolate cheesecake. This has different directions. Remove and discard enclosed oxygen absorber. Remove chocolate crumb topping packet set aside. Add two-thirds of a cup or 160 mils of cold water. Beat briskly with two forks for two minutes. Sprinkle chocolate crumb topping over top of filling and let sit for 10 minutes. And here are the ingredients on this one. There's uh, quite a few ingredients in there. And the nutrition facts. Once again, this is serving size half of package. Anyway, that water is getting close to boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting ready to add it to the uh, risotto with chicken. There we go. The uh, pre-water mixture. I'm going to get rid of the oxygen absorber. I've gotten those in the past. Not a good idea. It smells good. It smells kind of like an uh, Alfredo kind of a pasta mix. You can see the broccoli in there. It does say it has vegetables. In addition to the chicken breast, we have sweet corn, onion, bell pepper, and tomato. Looks like those would be the veggies in there. And like uh, Mountain House and most other companies, I think it's really nice about these is the bottom opens up so it can stand up on its own. All right, we got a good boil going there. We'll turn this off. Go ahead and add this uh, 600 milliliters to the uh, to the pouch. So 
looks like with the water in there. Go ahead and give that a good stir. And get down to the corners. I generally like to put a little bit less water in than they asked for. It's because it, a lot of times these things tend to come up kind of soupy. And I left just a little bit in the pot, but not, not too much. Hopefully this will be good. And it's stirred up pretty well. And that's what it looks like stirred. Let's seal this up and give this it says 13 minutes, so we'll give it about that much time. We're having a bit of a problem with this zipper here. Let's have to fold it over, I guess. All right, we'll set this aside and give that about 13 minutes to uh, prepare itself. All right, and while that all reconstitutes, we'll go ahead and start uh, making up this dark chocolate cheesecake, which sounds, uh, sounds quite good. Two things we have to take out of here. We have the oxygen absorber and the chocolate crumb topping packet. Doesn't really smell like too much. Uh, kind of smells a little bit like uh, a chocolate milk powder, like a Nesquik kind of thing. This just takes 160 mils or two thirds of a cup of water. And they say to beat it briskly with two forks for two minutes. I only have one fork on me, so I'll just have to uh, try to beat it extra well. So two minutes of this. All right, and here's what we have after a couple of minutes of uh, beating it briskly. Kind of looks like a sort of a lumpy pudding. Uh, the next direction is to go ahead and sprinkle the chocolate crumb topping over the top of filling. Uh, obviously you can just do it in here. This also opens up so you can just have it here and eat it right out of there Which is certainly convenient if you're backpacking But since we are doing a review, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into this mess tray here All right, and there's your two servings of dark chocolate cheesecake I was able to get most of it out of the pouch, but not quite all of it so, I've been kind of doing the proverbial licking of the bowl. And we just need to add the chocolate crumb topping on top of that. All right, now that the dessert's ready, I think we're ready to see the main dish. It is after sitting for about 13 or maybe 15 minutes. This will be all reconstituted. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. Looks like all the veggies kinda came up to the top. That didn't, that didn't sound too good. I have a feeling the stuff in the middle here might not be quite uh, reconstituted. Let me just check that real quick. That's not too bad. So there it is, and you can see uh, how much you get. You have two servings. It's a good amount of food there. All right, now it's time to try these things out. The uh, risotto, you can see, you definitely see the broccoli in there and the corn. It's a uh, kind of a, a pale looking dish, but 
Yeah, it's really good. The thing about the freeze-dried food, it tends to uh, taste somewhat more like uh, real food as opposed to the, the packaged, processed kind of stuff that you find in the MREs. There's a little bit of that. I can't really see the chicken, but there's chicken in there with that rice. There's got little chunks of chicken. I mean, a couple uh, grains of rice that weren't quite reconstituted. That's probably my fault for not uh, mixing them up a little bit better. This is really good. Let's see how thick it is. It definitely uh, thickened up nicely. I think the amount of water was fine. So like I said, there's an addition to the chicken and obviously the uh, rice, the risotto sauce. It's got sweet corn, onion, bell pepper, and tomatoes. I guess that's, this must be the tomato. Probably like a sun-dried tomato, maybe. But it's uh, very good. Salty. Not overly so. Really nice hearty dish, and it's still very hot. It's good stuff. You can see there's uh, quite a few chunks of chicken there. Get some of the peppers, some of the corn, I guess some of the tomatoes. That's yeah, really good. Good chunks of broccoli, and it's all reconstituted nice too. And some of the broccoli right there. Alright, so the main dish was very good. It was delicious. And that leads us with dessert. Dark chocolate cheesecake. This basically just needed to set for a little bit. Or at least sit for a little bit. It didn't really set. It still has a consistency of pudding. Which is fine. And it's got the, the crumb topping, the cookie crumb topping. Gives it a little bit of a crunch. That is very tasty. It's rich, sweet. It's really good. Um, I will say it does not remind me of cheesecake. I don't really taste any hint of like a cheese or a cheesecake kind of flavor uh, in addition to the, the chocolate, but it's very chocolatey. Like a, uh, a chocolate pudding, basically. Um, I, I'm not complaining that it doesn't taste like the cheesecake. You know, you have a certain expectation, but uh, I don't really have any complaints about it. It's very good. Yeah, so that was a look at some freeze-dried foods from Backpacker's Pantry. We had the risotto with chicken, vegetables, and Parmesan cheese. And Backpacker's dark chocolate cheesecake. Thanks for watching, and thank you again, BKY Guy, for sending this along. Very good.